Welcome back to TK Tennis. Today we have a long-term review of the blended strings from Tora Line and Restring, which you, this is the original rack. It had about four hours on it of Wasabi in the mains and Restring Sync in the crosses. And if you remember that first video, I also had another racket with Super Toro in the mains and Restring Sync in the crosses. Since then, the Super Toro and the Sync racket, those strings broke and at about five hours. And this racket that had the Restring Zero and the Restring Sync in the crosses also broke in about five hours. I have about four hours on this racket, so we'll find out if it breaks. What's interesting on both of the rackets, and the reason I waited to do this video is both the crosses broke, so which means the restring sync broke, which doesn't happen to me. Every two or three years, I will break a cross string first. I always break the main strings first. So what's interesting is the reason I waited is that not only did it break, but what's interesting about the sync, it started to fray before it broke, which I found interesting is most polys don't fray. Like head links touch, it frays, but most polys will not fray and then they'll just break when it's time. So both of the rackets where the sink broke happened in the crosses, both at about five hours. So in terms of durability, it's below average. I would say a four out of 10. It played well up until the point where it started to fray. And then you started to lose some playability on the sink when it starts to fray. And then of course breaks. So durability, a four out of 10. Playability is excellent up until it starts to fray and then it starts to decrease. So the question for me, or I think the question to answer is, would I continue using the sink in the crosses? And the answer is no, I won't. Even though it played well, it's too expensive and it's just not something I wanna deal with. I don't like polys at fray. Um, that's, a, that's a deal killer for me. So I will end up choosing a different cross. I think I'm gonna to go to Toro Line Ether next and string that in the crosses and continue to test Super Toro, Restring Zero, and Wasabi in the mains. This racket has about four hours. This one is not fraying, which I found interesting. Both other rackets frayed. This one is not yet. I believe it's gonna start fraying soon after about four hours and or it's going to break, but we'll find out. So that's the long-term review on the Toro line and Restring blends. It's a deal killer for me on the sink. The mains are excellent. Um, I think they're all worth using and I'll find out what is a better cross to use than Restring Zero. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe please and help me get to a thousand subscribers. Thanks very much.